Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance, on Life on Minecraft. We are in the jungle, one of the most diverse biomes there is. All kinds of life going on, some good, some bad, but the one we're really interested in is in a very rare area within the jungle. You can see it behind me, there's bits of bamboo. Today on Life on Minecraft, we are going to investigate the panda, the giant panda, and to do that, we need to be very careful and creep across to this bamboo biome very slowly. They are very timid creatures and we don't want to scare them away. On the way we have found an ocelot, probably even more timid than the panda. Used to be very important in getting cats, not anymore. Cats are dead easy to find. I did a video a little while ago all about cats and you can find out about them here. But look, it's glorious. We are hunting amongst the bamboo. Now bamboo is a very interesting resource and there is a Life on Minecraft video all about that that you can find linked in the description below. I have climbed into the Life on Minecraft helicopter because as you can probably see a rare mob in a rare biome is going to be very difficult to find. Pandas are generally passive mobs except for one variety which is neutral and they spawn in groups of one or two only so finding them is like finding a needle in a haystack they have 20 health points except for one variant which only has 10 the weak panda that poor little fella but let's see if we can find one i don't want to go too low because the sound of the helicopter might scare them away i can see a pair right there let's not get too close let's land this helicopter and walk down to find them we landed in a clearing just a little way away and have snuck through the jungle and have got very close. Now pandas were due to be in the game around about 2012 but they didn't reach the game until the village and pillage update first in Java in 2019 January. They have had a lot of work done on that however and as a result of that delay they are now a really superb animal. They have different personalities which we'll talk about in a moment but first of all I wanted to talk about how you can breed them. They are very easy to breed as long as they have got bamboo within an eight block radius of them. They need at least five within an eight block radius. Hello, little gorgeous. They are not massively keen on people, which is why they walk away. However, they are gonna become interested in me in just a moment. I am gonna hold this bamboo and all of a sudden, they think that they are my friend. And if I right click on this panda, that will activate that loving me a lot. I can also throw this bamboo to it. If I throw a bit of bamboo next to it, like that, it will eventually pick that bamboo up and that will be able to eat it. But if I want to breed it, I need to right click. That has a baby and the panda is hiding its food. <laughs> by eating it whilst it was sat up. Pandas eat whilst it's sat up. You can right click on the baby and feed that bamboo as well. Another interesting fact is that pandas also like cake and if you drop the cake, they will eat it. That's enjoying that cake very much. You be careful you don't get anything around your face there, my mate. Panda bears will spawn only if the light level is nine or above and if there is a two block space above them. They're quite a big animal. They need a little bit of room. When a panda dies, it will drop between naught and two bamboo. But generally speaking, when I've tried it, it always seems to be one. Maybe you go and try it, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I can't eat, I can't kill it whilst it's eating a bit of cake. It's just not possible. A really cute thing about pandas, especially baby pandas, is that they sneeze. Now, most pandas don't sneeze very often. The weak panda sneezes very often, in fact. And if the baby weak panda has a sneeze, it could drop a slime ball. It also, when the baby panda sneezes, it can make mummy jump. But I don't think we're gonna see that because it just is such a rare occurrence. If I come and sit down with these pandas and we listen, these sniffing noises and squeaking noises that they're making. They have been taken from real pandas in China. They went and recorded the noise of the pandas talking to each other and squeaking and baby pandas, and they put this into the game. This is also true of dolphins. 
There are seven different personality traits within the panda community and most of them you can work out just by looking at their face. This is the normal panda. You can see it's not got much of an expression, it's neither smiling nor is it grumpy, its eyes are fairly flat. This is the most common panda and we'll talk about how rare each one is in just a moment. The next one is an aggressive panda. If we look at the aggressive panda's face, you can see it is significantly different. It's got a scowly face. It is not very happy. This is a neutral mob where all the others are passive. And that means if you hit it, it is gonna try and hit you back. It is not really that impressed with you. The next one is the lazy panda. Now the lazy panda is the slowest land-based mob in the entire game of Minecraft. It has what looks like a very slightly smiley face and it lays on its back a lot. That is another way to tell the lazy panda from the others. We've got the worried panda. This poor fella is really fretting about stuff. It doesn't know where its next meal is gonna come from. It's not entirely sure whether or not you're gonna hit it with a sword. It's got a poor little sad face. We've then got the playful panda. It's got its tongue sticking out and it rolls around as if it's playing a game with you quite often. You can very easily see a playful panda from a long way away. It does love that forward roll. We've then got the weak panda. Now the weak panda, bless him, it's got little watery eyes, it's got poor little snotty nose, and it's also got half as many hearts of health as all of the other pandas, which is a real shame. They also, when they're babies, will sneeze and often blow out a slime ball, which in fact is actually quite disgusting. And then we've got the incredibly rare brown panda. You only get the brown panda if a brown panda and a brown panda breed. You need to have both the main and the weak gene as brown for it to actually come out as a brown powder. Very, very rare indeed. We are going to do a life on Minecraft experiment. This is a 10 by 10 grid. Therefore, there are 100 spaces that I can put a panda in. I'm gonna spawn one panda into each one of these grids, and I'm not gonna play snakes and ladders with it. I'm gonna see how many of each different personality we have actually got. So starting here, let's crack on. One hundred pandas, and let's tally them up. The personality of the panda depends on a combination of two genes that have been coded into the game, the main gene and the hidden gene. Think of them as dominant and recessive. Now, given that there are seven of each type of gene, normal, aggressive, lazy, worried, playful, weak, and brown, if you combine seven by seven, that means there are 49 different potential combinations of the genes. Now, of those 49, 19 give a normal panda, Seven give all other varieties of panda except for weak and brown. And weak and brown only have one combination that equals that type of variant. And that means you get, unsurprisingly, numbers that are a little bit like this. Now I know 100 isn't a good test, it is a very rough test, but we've had 45 normals, 10 aggressives, 12 lazies, 15 worrieds, 13 playfuls, three weeks, and two browns. That falls within that 49 different combination with a 100 unit test really rather well. Pandas, one of my favorite additions to the game, a really interesting animal. Are they much use to your game apart from looking good? Frankly, no, but they're really, really fun. Thank you for watching this Life on Minecraft episode. I hope you're enjoying the series. If you have enjoyed this episode, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying them and I will keep on making them. And also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.